Phew. We were able to defeat them, for the most part. No, it looks like there will be more in seconds. As I thought, they plan to use this opportunity to crush the Celestia with all their might. There's no end to this. This is Jubiel. All troops, please respond. Understood. Please retreat. What about the other angels? I have already received reports that they have been partially wiped out. I have ordered our troops to retreat. Even if I must do so by myself, I shall fight on. Sir Shin, can you still fight? I'm fine, Jupiel, but... I... am fine as well. Don't overwork yourself. Come back now. I cannot. I must be the one who protects Celestia. On my sister's behalf, I must... Jupiel! What is it? You're not Mariel's substitute. Please, don't be reckless and rush out to your death. You're the one who taught me that I'm not alone. I don't want you to be alone either. Please, don't run off without permission. I see. I am terribly sorry, Sir Shin. I... I believed that I was the one who had to keep everything together. That's right. Jupi, if you collapse, the military strength of Celestia would drop dramatically. You must watch your condition. But... what in the world should we do? What? The engine core has started? It looks like we made it. I thought we didn't have enough energy. It sounds... as though it is operating normally. If that is the case... Activate stealth mode at once! We shall shake off the devils! I'll show you my power. Is that true? Yeah. 
Zaluel and the other angels of the opposing faction provided the energy to start the engine core by letting it absorb them. That means Zaluel and the others sacrificed themselves. They kind of asked me to relay a message to you. Incited by the traitors, we had spread unnecessary confusion throughout Celestia. We are partly responsible for the suspension of Celestia's engine core, hiding behind our pride. We were blind to what we should have seen. This punishment is the only way we can atone for our shame. Therefore, we seek atonement for what we have done by offering our bodies to supply magic power to Celestia. Please, Lady Jupiel and our Lord, call forth victory for Celestia, that's all. What? What have they done? I... Just because they were against Ariel and had different opinions than I do, doesn't mean I wanted them to disappear. They decided to do it on their own. Not only did they protect Celestia, but they have earned the respect of us all. What they did was good. Ariel, did you just let them go without saying anything? They were about to throw their lives away. Sorry, but I couldn't think of any plan to overcome that situation if they hadn't sacrificed themselves. There were no other means to reigniting the engine core. To sacrifice a few to save the many. That's the choice that they made. Sir Shin, as I thought, maybe I do not have what it takes to command Celestia. I wanted my sister to acknowledge me. In order to earn that, I have battled the devils, and I have polished my fighting skills. Please do not get angry at me, but that was the real reason why I requested to be your exclusively assigned angel. That doesn't make me mad. If not for you, I wouldn't be the person I am right now. For an angel to have such impure motives for engaging in battle, there is no way I could have succeeded in leading Celestia. Jubiel, are you here? Sister, are you finally all right? She shouldn't be walking around yet, but she wouldn't listen to anything I said and kept telling me to bring her here. Jubiel, those injuries... These are... I fought the devil, so... However, these are normal for me. You do not have to worry, Jubiel. More importantly, sister, welcome back. I am terribly sorry. I was incapable of leading Celestia. As I thought, I am still a novice. If I continue to be like this, there is no way I can... Jupiel. Um, sister? Jupiel. I am glad. After hearing that you were chosen to be the Vice Archangel, I was worried that you might overwork yourself again. You wore yourself out. But you are alive. I am glad you are safe. No. I was not able to lead Celestia, and we have suffered several casualties as a result. As this is the case, even if I were not around, I believe that there are other superior angels. What are you saying? You are the one and only member of... my family. Family? I... I always thought you did not really care about such things. I am sorry. Because I am the Archangel, I could not show favor to any angels in particular. And because of that, you ended up overworking yourself. If I were ever to lose you, I have no idea what I would do. I... I always wanted you to acknowledge me. I always thought that I had not earned your acknowledgement. So, all this time, I... I... I tried to become just like you, so that I... It is all right. That is enough, Jupiel. There is no need for you to become like me. 
So please, do not overwork yourself. You must walk your own path in life. Sister! Where are you going? You blockhead! Those who would just interfere need to hurry up and get out of the way! Uh, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much, Sir Shin. So here you are, Sir Shin. Jupiel. Have you already heard about the matter regarding Miss Airy? Yeah. She's gonna be considered dead. Because I failed to capture those traitors, Airy was sacrificed. As well as the opposing faction. I do not believe that Miss Airy has died. If possible, I would like to go looking for her. There's no way you could allocate personnel to search for one human who isn't even important. I know that already. Though it may be difficult now, if the situation calms down a little, it might be possible to organize a search party. Sir Shin, please do not ever lose hope. We have not confirmed Miss Airy died. It is possible that she may still be alive. Thank you. Looks like you're finally back to your usual self. Yes. I am sorry for causing so much trouble for you. However, I shall give it my all to redeem myself as your exclusively assigned angel. Uh, this place is... Oh, that's right. I fell to the netherworld. Ow! Oh, wow! Oh, my leg is broken. Mm. Uh. Oh, that angel! She fell straight to the ground! What am I supposed to do now? Huh? What's a human doing here? Uh, are you perhaps a devil? Huh? You got a problem with that? It's weirder for a human to be here. That's true. Oh well, who cares? More importantly, was that dead angel over there your ally? Huh? No, that's... I see. So you're affiliated with Celestia. Interesting. Follow me. I'll make sure you confess everything. Wait, ow! My leg's broken, you know? Shut up. Hurry up and stand, you piece of garbage. You're in my way. Move! What? You're Hien Inugami! Hien Inugami? You mean that Hien Inugami? Huh. I don't give a damn about this woman anymore. I'll offer your head to Lady Phyllis as a present. Didn't I say that you're in my way? <laughs> that power that defeated me. Power that is used for the sake of others should only be an illusion. However, how is he? Uh... Hey! What? Do you intend to fight me too? Of course not. I just want you to help me. Why should I save you? Your injury is proof that you are incapable of surviving in the netherworld. It is the curse of being powerless. What the heck are you saying? You used to be a human, right? How do you know that? Because I was in Celestia. Celestia, you say? That's right. I'm an acquaintance of Shin Kamikaze. Uh, he should be looking for me right now, I think. So that means you yourself know where Celestia currently resides. Well, I kind of got separated from them. Useless. But if you take me to Celestia, I can convince Shin to fight you again. If I can find Celestia on my own, then I have no need for you. 
I'm telling you, they might be looking for me. And there's no way I can do anything here by myself. Fine. If there is a possibility that he will come himself, then I can at least take you to him. Thanks. All right, then... What? Like I said, my leg's broken. Give me a piggyback ride. Don't toy with me. Walk on your own. Then heal my leg. I don't use healing magic. Then how am I supposed to come along with you? Do you plan to drag me? <sighs> Such a pain. <laughs> Grab on. We have discovered an enemy facility that is dug deep beneath the surface. I want you to infiltrate it for the sake of an investigation. You want us to investigate it? The purpose of this facility is currently unknown. Purpose, huh? So it's not like a laboratory or a refinery? Correct. The scouting party reports that it was artificially built. It is not a natural cave, and some runes are inscribed on the walls. What those runes are for, what the facility is for, everything about it is unknown. However, we have confirmed that it has a working phantasma. That means it must be a military facility. Therefore, we must confirm what that place is for. Will you cooperate with us? Of course. However, do not force yourselves. You two have a habit of being reckless at times. Please do not worry. I do not intend to cut any corners on missions. And I am well aware of when we should retreat. Lord Shin, do you understand? Of course, I am well aware. I will not die and I will give it my all to protect you, Bion. That is good to hear. Now then. We will commence with the operation as soon as we arrive. <laughs> Did you get a treat or something? Something very good is going to happen from now on. How do you know that? Something that I have been waiting for all this time. My wish will finally be granted. What is your wish? That's a secret. <laughs> the one who is guided by fate will finally arrive. 